by Femi Adesina. Dash. President Muhammadu Buhari Friday in Abakiliki pledged that the federal government would deploy its strength to protect innocent and hard-working Nigerians from terrorists and those causing breakdown of law and order in the southeast region. Speaking at a meeting with Southeast leaders during his two-day state visit to Eboni, the president expressed concern over the deteriorating security situation in the region, reiterating his directive to security agencies to flesh out those perpetrating violence in the land. I must register my deep and grave concern with regards to the deteriorating state of security affairs in this region. In the last 48 hours, I have been informed of the latest in the round of brutal actions carried out by gun-wielding terrorists, who prey on innocent and hard-working citizens, unfortunately, these barbaric acts were visited upon those who have committed their lives to protect their fellow citizens, he said. The president paid tribute to members of the Nigerian armed forces who recently lost their lives in the region. Responding to appeals by traditional, religious and political leaders in the region for the release of the detained leader of the outlawed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Nambi Kanu, the president said. I have listened carefully to the various appeals from the elders to the traditional leaders regarding a wide range of options, and as I have said previously this matter remains in the full purview of the courts where it will be properly adjudicated. My worry is for our hard-working and innocent civilians, for whom life is already tough and would like to earn a decent and honest living. There are many that fit this profile and the government owes them that obligation to protect lives and property. I will once again repeat, no one has the right to carry an AK-47, and anyone seen in any part of the country doing so and is not a law enforcement officer is a threat to our peaceful coexistence and should be treated as such, he said. On infrastructure, the president highlighted some of his government's achievements in the region, dismissing those peddling false narratives of lack of care and consideration for the people of the Southeast by this administration. The president said he was proud of the reconstruction of the runway of the Akanu Ebium International Airport and ongoing work upgrade of the International Terminal Building, assuring Digbo that the 200 billion naira second Niger Bridge and 10 km 6 lane expressway in Manicha and Asaba will be completed before the end of the year. He added that the $5.5 million diagnostic center in Muahia is already operational. In his remarks, Governor Dave Umahi of Aoni said President Buhari would be remembered as a man who did not use the plight of the people of the South East to play politics but came to their rescue severally. The governor urged Southern leaders to work towards finding a political solution and resolving some challenging issues, warning that the region is at crossroads. On this issue of a political solution, I have never believed in Ibab's method of operation, I disagree with them but we have gotten ourselves to a very terrible and pitiable solution. Some of us warned that we will get to this situation and some were playing politics with it. Mr. President, we are at crossroads. I have been to you and I have begged you for a political solution. Surprisingly and graciously you granted that. You said our people should initiate that and at the forefront is Nambi Kanu's lawyer. The governor, therefore, urged the president of Ones Ndigbo to meet with elder statesman, Mbazulu Ikemechi, the chairman of Christian Association of Nigeria, CAN, Southeast, the chairman of Southeast Traditional Rulers Council, Nambi Kanu's lawyer and few others to initiate the political solution. On the 2023 elections, the governor said he believed strongly in the demand for the presidency to be zoned to the Southeast region on the basis of fairness, equity, justice and morality. Umahi, who is also a presidential aspirant, commended some leaders from outside the region for expressing their support for the next president of Nigeria to emerge from the southeast. The chairman of Southeast Traditional Rulers, as Charles Mpuma and Ken Chairman, Southeast, Very Reverend Father Abraham Wali, also spoke in favor of President of Nigeria of Southeast Extraction come 2023. The leaders while expressing support for a united Nigeria, appealed to the president to grant pardon and release the Ipab leader, urging other agitators to cease all forms of hostilities. At Views Exclusive Rights, Femi Adesina, Special Advisor to the President, Media and Publicity, May 6, 2022